Hey, good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel. Got a picture perfect day going off here today. I just looked at the main house solar array. It's pumping in about 60 amps right now. System's almost full early in the day. Other two auxiliary systems basically full as well. Absolutely gorgeous. Classic. So in my last video, I was talking about how I am taking steps to eliminate propane as much as I can from daily life out here when I switched over uh, to electric refrigerator from a propane refrigerator slash the total household propane used by 75% just in that alone. And now looking at as many of you already had guessed where I was heading with this towards induction cooking and so here I've got the new wave precision induction cooktop this is the first time I have ever used a heating element on solar back in the old days we shied away from anything with a heating element like it had the plague well the times have changed the technology is different and now here I'm sitting with a heating element gonna cook some food see how it does one of the things that appealed to me with this is it had three different uh, wattage settings for cooking a 600 watt a 900 watt and a 1300 watt and you can program that all yourself you could program your meals when you know what kind of time it's going to take and set the time and it'll just turn off automatically and amongst all of those uh, wattage settings they all have temperature settings for each level as well so 600 watts and then it has low medium medium low medium high high and sear and then of course on the higher wattage 1300 watts as well so a lot of the ones I looked at before I uh, got this one went up to about 1800 watts I saw this one it caught my eye right away I want to try and get away with still using as little power as I possibly can to get the job done so we're gonna cook it up we've got this tied in to a watt meter we'll see what the various uh, settings will draw on this 1500 watt pure sine wave inverter the red odo 200 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery and just as a reference of where we're at 99.9 .9 full that's a full battery still got some sun coming in before it uh, will go into a well it is an absorption mode now I can see that by the yellow light there on the Victron charge controller so it's just about ready to kick off all power so that'll be really good I'll be able to cook up a little something here and we'll see what it's drawing and how it hits the system and I'm gonna cook a meal with no propane another step in the right direction okay we're gonna cook up some bacon and eggs and we'll just check back in with the battery is 100% full it's allowing 6 watts in through its absorption stage 14.2 holding it there perfectly I'm gonna have more to say on that battery uh, in an upcoming video about that previous voltage spike we mentioned it seems to be resolved uh, but not today uh, today it's about the getting off the propane so what I'm going to be using today uh, to cook this is uh, some Ninja Wear, and it's a, an aluminum stainless steel glass uh, compound. It's a great utensil for cooking, and it happens to be induction compatible. A lot of the stuff you do have around there, cast iron around your house, completely compatible with induction cooking. Anything with a magnetic surface like the stainless steel, so... Uh, just so happened to have this already 
did not buy anything special for this and let's start it up first i'm going to turn the inverter on <clears throat> and then i'm going to set the the watts down here to 600 watts i'm going to go with the settings on 600 watts for a while until I get used to this and I'm sure it'll be fine to cook up some bacon and eggs and we'll see how fast it does. Now this particular pan likes to be heated up for two minutes before you start cooking. So I'm going to see what the the medium setting at 600 watts is 175 degrees Fahrenheit. I might cook that up a little bit higher. Medium high 375 uh, degrees Fahrenheit I think we'll go with that now when I put this on it'll start heating up and I'm going to give it a couple of minutes and then I'll be right back and we'll start cooking okay the pan's been heating up for a couple of minutes just to let you know at 600 watts 375 degrees Fahrenheit on the medium high setting it's drawing 638 watts right now so let's get the bacon going and I'll reset the timer and we'll see just at this wattage which is very easily uh, yeah 642 watts and the bacon i can see is starting to sizzle yeah very easy on the system i can run this for quite a while wow my mind is being blown cooking with a heating element times have changed this is fantastic just holding it rock steady 375 degrees and it's the wattage use is just very consistent right at 638 to 640 watts on the watt meter and I'll just show you well I've got the phone in my hand uh, now that battery was hundred percent full but because now uh, we're drawing on it you know 640 watts it's open that 200 watt array and it's able to catch 153 watts right now and that's a full battery so not only are we cooking on a solar system we're not touching the battery that is tied into this system we're we're cooking straight off of sunshine here it's not dropping that battery at all that's the that most optimum way i can think of of uh, using one of these although uh, these things are pretty efficient so it's not going to be on for long so it's not really a huge draw on the system regardless but boy cooking off of just what's coming in on the sun that's that's something I could set my clock around perfect okay as you can see I'm at three minutes and 40 seconds into just cooking this with 600 watts at 375 degrees the bacon is cooking cooking nicely give it its first turn and probably only turn yeah that's cooking up really nice that's some thick cut bacon too just to let you know pretty thick four minutes in and it's going to be done in just a couple of minutes yeah I'm liking this so this this unit uh, and I'll say it's blowing a little you know a fan in there and uh, it's not hot around it at all the solar system of course is keeping up with this perfectly uh, yeah so 60 bucks pretty good pretty good little first step towards uh, weaning off the propane for cooking you can get like a double burner if you wanted to they're they're pretty nice for about double the price 120 bucks or something is where they start at i just wanted to start with one see how i liked it the majority of meals out here can be cooked 
uh, with one skillet and two for the remainder of the time is pretty much how all cooking out here gets done. Stove top, couple of burners, do have an oven, don't use it that often, but for the most part it's stove top and this is stove top cooking right here. So depending on how people like their bacon, I like mine on the, the crispier side. It's five and a half minutes in right now and it would probably be done for some people but not for me i'm going to let it go a little longer but i'm happy with this now of course i could have picked this up a lot quicker going to a higher setting i'm going to fully get comfortable with this on the lower settings it's not even touching that battery at all sunshine cooked bacon and just to let you know if you can hear the fan in the background that's the inverter fan kicked on right at the seven minute mark that we're coming upon at uh, pulling that 640 watts off the inverter oh, uh, continuously uh, throughout this experiment. So the fan is coming on. It is fairly warm in here. The ambient temperature in this room right now, 86 degrees. So yeah, it's a little toasty. Just in general, I just touched all the, the various leads in that system. There's no heat on any of my cables whatsoever. So, yeah, you could do this faster, but I'm very happy. 600 watts, 375 degrees. You can call it breakfast in 10 minutes. Okay, I'm just shy of 11 minutes in. That bacon's exactly how I like it. The wattage dropped just slightly on the watt meter right now. Uh, it's pulling 623 watts at the moment. This meal is about done. And those aren't going to take very long. Yeah, I'm already a big fan. All right. Hope this gives you all something to think about. It sure gave me a lot to think about. Thanks for all of you that were uh, gently pointing me in this direction for a long time now. I finally came around. I've seen the light getting off the gas. Yeah, that is fantastic. Right at 12 minutes now. And that breakfast is ready. Alright everybody. Hope you're having a good day. You don't have to shy away from heating elements like in the old days. You know, in the old days I will say, I mean, we were all on lead acid back then. Solar equipment was extremely expensive. Uh, you know, pure sine waves were out of touch. I had an old 1200 watt modified sine wave or a 2400 watt and it cost 1200 bucks back then so everything's different lithium takes you the distance aloha